So, good day and how are you? And welcome to HC Shaves channel here. My name is Hans and I am your host for today. So, COVID updates. <laughs> We're going to get to that. I have put on a pre shave. Today's pre shave is head slick. Head slick is a nice, you could also shave with this. Uh, no problem. It is mentholated. And it is a nice cooling menthol on my uh, my skin. Um, today's weapon of choice is going to be the Parker variant with an Aster Blue blade in it on its third use. And um, I did a shave last time when I updated everyone on the COVID situation right here at home. And... Um, Yeah. I'm gonna use it sitting setting five, this one. Um I did make myself here, I used the beast, very aggressive razor. And uh, I was hoping to bring you a review of a new soap that I have in, in the den, but I'll be talking a bit more about that later. Today it's going to be Mitchell's Wolf Fat. The kids are home, um, and I'm alone right now because, well, I am still sick, feeling better, and it's got whipped up here extremely easy and nicely in my Viking lather bowl, uh, using my Viking brush here very nicely, ceramic brush. Um, let's see how it does. So, yeah, lather all over the place. It's a nice soothing scent that this has got. Um, if you ask me and I hope you're well I hope you are staying safe um, the lala perhaps isn't as thick and creamy as some other soaps but again it does leave your face when it's on there it feels like your skin is resting on a very Lovely pillow cloud. It's very protective and very slick. Nothing wrong with the lala, even though for me it is uh, lighter in, in in texture than uh, than normal. But we might be able to whip it up a bit thicker here on the face. Also mixing it with the head slick. Yeah. So due, due to the COVID, and I'm feeling okay. Um, Okay, being sort of the lead word here. Um, actually whipping up the lala exhausted me quite a bit. I got tired in my, my arms and um, it's not like I needed to rest, but it was almost like, you know, oh, I need to rest now. That was <laughs> so it, it has caught me. Um, Mostly, I believe, due to the, the asthma that I have. All right, just gonna take slow. Gonna get back to work tomorrow, but one downside, I'll try to stay positive, since I've been very <laughs> negative lately due to all the, the things that's been happening. Look at all this, I mean, look, there's just more than enough left in the bowl. What I did was I scraped off cut off a piece um, and then bloomed it for about 10 to 15 minutes in in hot hot water and uh, it whipped up as you can see with no issues at all and this was soaking in cold water yes so look at this there's no complaining about this right and I am competing against the Sun uh, in terms of being able to bring this video to you at a point where you can actually look and see what's going on. And yeah, the kids are playing at the background. Perhaps you could hear. <laughs> uh, perhaps I have to stop and see if there's anyone who's, who's being murdered or anything. Um, Good friends, usually. All right, so nice slick soap. 
Uh, that's the job wonderfully and oh there I was oh, now I'm gone again <laughs> um, perhaps I'll be borrowing some lights from, from from someone to counter over here um, so cold water setting five with the arts to break the park variant let's have it a go um, yes so it is Slightly downhill, uh, but we'll try to look at the positive right here uh, at home. Because my son has um, has gone infected with COVID for the second time now. Um, he's doing okay. Um, he had one, two days with headaches. And light sensitivity, and um, you know, having a few days off with me and also his sister. Could you know, she's not attending school yet, so if I were homesick. You might as well be homesick with me. So yeah, he's recovering, but uh, I'm not quite sure he is ready to get back to school. And uh, I think he's going to be joining me for work tomorrow. Simply because it's it might be that he's alright and fine here. But school is another setting, and he, you know, has his difficulties. Um, having troubles sort of uh, explaining and relating to how he is feeling on the inside. See, Robert, I remember to go back just a bit. <laughs> All right. My sense of humor is still there, so that's, that's at least something. Yeah, uh, Mitch's Wolf Hat has got a nice um, barber shoppy, citrusy, but still soapy scent to it. In a very, oh, it's difficult to to explain. In a very sort of nice and I don't know, almost cozy scent to it. Like ah, oh, that that's a nice. It's not overpowering. It's it's a mild scent, and that's also why I'm using it because for some reason. I'm not quite picking up on, on very powerful scents. Um, this here is the soap that I'm going to be reviewing for you next. Artic, a highly menthol soap with a big sort of smash in scent also. But I'm only just getting a very slight scent of it off the puck now. Um, and I would like to wait to do the review so that I can get sort of my full evaluation on it to you. And um, I wouldn't be able to do that with my COVID nose. The shave that I did this Saturday... Um, was with master soap reasons because I know it makes my fins, my fin, my skin feel great, and um, I, you know, it's it's usually moderate, medium set strength, uh, medium to above medium menthol feel. Uh, I could fail and sense the menthol, obviously, but the scent was. 
up there. Not due to the soap, obviously, but due to my COVID nose. Um, and it was very strange, you know, shaving with something you expect sort of to um, to smell like some very specific thing, but then it just doesn't. And um, for some reason, the highly potent, powerful scents are not getting through to my nose, but these subtle at the background kind of like this one I can smell this slightly but I can smell it you know there you go. all right so we'll adjust this down from five to We go down one and then we do across the grain. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, I hope you are well. Everyone who's who's watching. Oh, easy now. Don't add pressure, you moron. Getting too excited here. So, yeah, um, when I shaved this Saturday off camera, I was actually talking to myself a bit. So, yeah, I missed you. <laughs> To such a derange that I was actually talking to myself with you know, raw recording on and everything, and I was like, "What are you? Wait a minute! What are you doing? Do you know what you're doing? You know, no one's gonna watch this, right? So that's how quickly you can become used to something." Because hopefully you have an idea that I'm talking to you, but in my sort of perspective, I'm talking to myself. A mail call is, well two actually, is going to be in the waiting. Um, one of them is from China and um, I got a chance to get a hold of some yaki brushes Um, the thing about these two brushes that I'm receiving is that they are actually rejects. They are uh, sort of classified as defective. Um, I did think I nicked myself over here. I'm just going to be cautious not to reopen the nicks that I got over here. Yeah, the uh, defective brushes. Um, and one of them, I was like, "Woo, that looks." Well, both of the handles looks extremely nicely, um, and one of them is green because I actually haven't got a green handle brush yet. So, so we're going to slightly just add a, add a little water here. And we'll see if anything happens. This is the third application. 
So that's one mail call, but that's going to take, you know, like a month or something like that to get here. And um, you might be wondering, well, you said you have no money. Why are you buying brushes, you idiot? Well, as a matter of fact, I did find some cash in my wallet, deposit it to the bank, and there you go. Next, first day, there's going to be some cash in. Everything's going to look better than this right now. Um, so yes, and then, of course, paycheck is going to help. And uh, let's turn this bad boy down to two. The blade is uh, third use, and I believe this is the last one because it's slightly rough, sort of. Um, feels rough on the skin. So, last use of this one. Turn it up again to four, slightly too mild. There you go. Now it takes off the soap as well. Yeah, and the other mail call is from a viewer. Uh, one of the first ones that I got as a subscriber. He is sending me some stuff and I am going to ship him some stuff as well. Once I am capable. He did fancy the vintage looking brush that I have from Omega, so I'm shipping that to him. Also got together some, well, some other extra stuff. Something that I enjoy using, and something that I'm fairly certain that I think that he is going to enjoy using as well. So, something perhaps that's going to have him try something different. Uh, I have a suspicion that he's going to be doing the same thing to me. And um, yeah, that miracle is going to be in, in a few days, so I'm going to do an unboxing of that with you guys to share what I get. Also, when the brushes from Yaki arrive. I'm going to be doing that as well. So, this is about to conclude. There you go, a face wash and I'll bring you to the post shave. Hello and welcome back. I did a face wash and I've just put on some face witch hazel lemon lemon with menthol in it. And as it does its job, we're going to recap what we have used. 
Parker variant on settings. Oh, I did nick myself and reopen. Uh, I did nick myself there. Um, the blade was going a bit dull, and I am quite off because I am still not completely recovered. Um, mostly it's my fault. But Parker variant, aggressive razor, and uh, holds the blade very tight. But some I'm not quite familiar with it just yet. It had an Aster Blue razor blade in it uh, for use and that is going to be retired now as it did cut off my face a bit. The Mitchell Wolf Fat a whipped up bloom for 15 minutes in hot water whipped up nicely in the Viking bowl using the Viking brush. Nice bit of so left even after a uh, three passes and a face wash. Um, head slick performed great as appreciate. Added a bit of menthol to the first pass uh, that went away for the second and third. And lastly, we're going to be using this as the aftershave because I think it somehow goes nicely with the tone of the Mitchell's Wolf Fan. I'll. Wish you all well. I hope to bring you oh, nice. It is there for me right now, but still slightly backwards a bit more. Um stay safe. Woo! That's nice. So we did. See you on Saturday. Goodbye.